It gives you a different look into the game because a lot of people have established, yeah, I'm a swing, I'm gonna go forward, I'm gonna do everything I want, but you can't do that in that matchup because you watch the way these two, those two break things down. This matchup, however, we're gonna see a very different style of play because Josh is gonna do exactly everything you can to stay right up against Sinji and just get right up in there and make him feel like he can't do anything at all. But Sinji is very used to that style of play. Sinji has had a lot of experience with that with visitors being aggressive as well as uh, tri State's own being super aggro at points. So I'm curious to see how Sinji breaks it down in this one though, because of the destroys of Mithra and Pyra, the KO power on Pyra might actually be a problem. I thought that was up there. Like, I, you know, when I first saw the second Galaga hit, I was thinking, oh, he's dead. He's dead. Good GG, shake my hand. But Stingy always wanted to look for some more consistent follow ups, not trying to look, not trying to go for Hail Marys when they aren't there, mm -hmm. or at least when he feels like they aren't there. Because he knows that oh. just. One punish is all he needs. Okay, this isn't about the game, but I just thought of something very funny. I'm going to find that esports certificate nonsense, and I'm going to just go ahead and just put a video of an hour plus set that I have casted of their set and say, this is my esports certification right here. I don't need to pay $400. I know what the hell I'm doing. I don't pay in money. I pay in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Corporate companies always trying to stick their hands where they don't belong, man. But it, right uh, now, um, I mean, Sinji is pretty much a king of uh, preventing anybody from doing that. That don't matter, though, because that forward smash has got some dummy range. And it's got some dummy strength. And that move is so good. If you think it's going to hit you, it probably will. Like, just <coughs> play, it, play it safe, play it careful, though. 120, Sinji has done plenty of uh, work, plenty of this extra credit as we both kind of hate to say. <laughs> it's kind of toxic on the tongue, but it kind of spells the exact situation we got. Extra credit for me has kind of turned into a similar thing where people say nice back air. Like it's uh, it's kind of like a generalized thing. Like, yeah, and it's not even a bad thing to say necessarily. It's just kind of like, there's so many other things you could say. Like they were holding advantage good. They were holding punishes good. And they were holding that down there on top of your damn head. That down, <laughs> that down air is so good. Even with the quickness that is that up B, it does not matter. That move is so fast and so strong. I'm honestly surprised we don't see more pirate players do that. Like pirate players, well, like what? instead what of pirates, are you watching? <laughs> literally, like I'm. They are I, all doing I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But every time I see a pirate player, whether it be online or like players like Sensei, they're like <coughs> dashing back and doing blazing edge from roll distance. It's like, no, <laughs> try a two frame with down air, please. Sensei, you, Sensei, you go back to student now. You need it down air at the ledge is so good. It covers so much. Two frames so easy, and it is a massive kill power move. Uh, that move, that move pays your bills, as they like to joke about. It really does it, everything. It brings her kit together because at any point. Down air to up smash, down air to up air, down air to like tech chase. Like, it all comes together from that move, and you have to respect. You you have to respect when Pyra's in mid air because of it, especially as a like, slower, more floaty character like Pac Man. Like going air to air isn't exactly an option in a lot of the in a lot of these cases. So what do you do? Hold hold your ground and try and respect that down air and see if you can mm -hmm. get a punish afterwards. Exactly. Now here at, the, at these windows. Uh, I like what Sinji's doing. Even though you have percent lead, try not to get too aggressive because you're going to get yourself into a spot where you could possibly die super early. That move right there at ledge around where he's standing could kill him. So you need to make sure that... Oh, oh no. he's dead. You don't Shake even need my to be. You don't even need to be at the ledge. You just need to get hit down or in center stage. And John, I get, I get what you're saying. I 100% get what you're saying with the fact that it, it is kind of slowish. But that move is massive. Let's go ahead and draw a smiley face under that real quick. Let's see. I want to show. I want to show the chat real quick. Once we get to that down there, go ahead and hit the pause for me real quick. Actually, I'm gonna do it. You got. Look at that. It covers the. Oh, wrong, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Ooh. This range. That is two whole <laughs> character. That's two whole character length distance for some characters on a roll and everything. So it's a good move as a. It, it's it's very solid on somebody who's a little bit too aggro out of shield, uh, as well as somebody who just wants to be on the go. <laughs> it confirms it's an up smash and everything. But that one was a mistake grab. That cost you your sock. You died at a whole 74, my friend. 
like, I get it though. Like, I get what he was going, what Sinji was going for, right? Like, Bell against Shield. Are they scared? But Joshathan wasn't because you just spent Bell. It's like I literally have nothing to be afraid of. What is he gonna do? Nair me? That's mm -hmm. fine. I'm at 129. Like, I'm not gonna die. Yeah. I also I. I, it's kind of a mini game for me to so anytime John sub, sub, like says something really smart in chat, I have to make sure I find something that they did really dumb with that exact option so I can just throw it back at him. <laughs> like, he's got the right idea. He's not wrong, except, oh yeah. Well, what happens when you get hit though? <laughs> There's counterplay to everything, but sometimes a true combo is a true combo. It's, it's fun. I love picking the brains of the really smart players. It's just, it, it oh, makes yeah, you great. look at the game very differently. Uh, and Sinji is a ledge trap machine. You're He's, probably dead here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That That's one of the best times to tear apart this character is when they're in a horizontal setup range because you just throw fruit right at them and they die. Just all you need is, all you need is to take their jump. They're one of those characters where like, yeah, they, like Mithra is really good at uh, air speed and Pyra's got like the uh, really good vertical and her magnet hands are super good, solid. Mm -hmm. But, just take their jump in any in any means and yeah they're gonna have that much harder of a time to of getting back to ledge yeah one thing i do like about this matchup for joshathan is the fact that you don't really need to worry too much about being kind of camped out in the long game because you're killing Sinji significantly early Sinji's playing the matchup exactly how you need to uh except for kind of kind of got a little bit too defensive and a little bit too obvious looking for that bell right there <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's holding Bell and rolling. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, I wonder what he's gonna do. <laughs> Granted, I mean, it is it is on the he who pulls trigger first might lose, but right there, immediately getting in, not wasting a single second to get that. Do not go challenge him at the ledge, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. it. <laughs> okay. This is why I said don't do it. <laughs> it only took 34, but uh, you got five minutes and Sinji will eventually get off that ledge. Don't go challenging any Pac-Man when they have Galaga in their hand when they go to a ledge like that. Like time, your time will come. If you build it, they will come. But not Pac-Man at ledge. Just let that one by. Let that like ant hill by. Yeah, look, you, you. I'm just saying. You see that happening on the streets? Maybe you walk the other way. Just, like, you, you don't go. You don't go mess with that one. To be fair, if you see a giant yellow orb walking on the street, you're like, all right. Isn't I'm that just another day in New York, though? That's besides the point. <laughs> New Yorkers will see that and just go. Eh. <laughs> and New Yorkers have no fear at all. <laughs> uh, oh, y'all can see uh, Godzilla versus time. King Kong live action in front of you right there, and you will still get on that subway because you got things to do. <laughs> it's like, oh man, is the E-line down because of this? I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, oh, he didn't punish him for the grab. Oh, good defense on Sinji there. He, uh, he knew very much well that th there was no reason for Justin to be looking for a high recovery there. However, I mean, I don't know what the hell happened to Sinji. I gotta look back at this real quick. <laughs> Sinji got smacked away. Got hit by Blaze again. Oh, and then L oh, buffer air dodge. Okay. I was wondering what the hell happened. Why did this man die? <laughs> yeah, he's, he said that it's a Jew for just getting hit by Blazing Edge. And it's kind of giving uh, Joshathan a, a second lease on life at low percent. Mithra can start putting together some strings and putting together some ledge trap, and that's all you need that little bit of room to get up some momentum going for as mm -hmm. a character as swingy as Pyron Mithra. Yep, and that was that was not that was uncalled for. Sometimes you swing look, a little too hard. Sinji, Sinji, look, we we all saw. We all saw it. We knew that. We knew Joshathan was going to get super aggressive there. We saw it. We we knew. You didn't have to do. It. You could at least game a second. Like look, look at it. Look how obvious. Uh, not even to, to just say much. But the double jump is expended, right? And then you jumped and double jumped once again. What are you going to do? You got one of two things. You're either a fading into center stage and you're going to throw out blazing in. Sinji doesn't have to worry about a single thing. Uh, or you go straight at Sinji like that, who's got a bell in hand, who can walk away from the space nair. All I gotta say is this one of those moments where I gotta say, stupid! <laughs> Alright, so anyways, getting into the next game here. Uh <laughs> yeah, they're just, <laughs> they're popping right in, like... We're gonna. I guess PS2 really does make the best games because this is all we're seeing in this top eight thus far. No <laughs> counter picks allowed. Stadium only. Oh, that's and a jump. Oh, go, oh, well, okay. Never mind. I forgot how good that air dodge is. 
this is yeah. I mean, you get pa you get past anyway because of foresight. And even if you don't, they've got the airspeed to to float right back to the ledge, nice and safe like. Mhm. Mm I like this idea. They kind of put the pressure on. One of the, one of the big things I'd like to see more out of Pyramithra is like more consistently is knowing when's the right time to switch off, particularly at ledge. Like, Pyra is your ledge trapper. Mithra is your damage dealer, your center stage fighter, your advantage holder, right? And obviously you switch off that KO percent spot. When you have a spot like that, I feel like Shinji's gonna be much more frightened by the idea of Pyra staring him down, especially because you've already you already showed you could time down here. And you got blazing in, so it, as well as jump forward here. So you got you got a lot of different coverage options, even at 60, because you might just you might just snipe yourself a kill. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's no reason not to throw out something. <laughs> oh, bye, Hydrant. Like, oh, see ya. <laughs> asking you shall receive. This man immediately just threw the up the up. Oh, all right. Asking he you shall receive. He just landed on the plat. Just throw him out. Just, and then failed the skill check afterwards by missing the uh, the wave land to the, to the platform in between stocks. But up beat twice. And it, also, this is kind of like the first time that we've seen Justin really kind of put any type of actual pressure on the fire hydrants because always used his like toast on eggs over and over again on it and it hasn't really done nearly as much as what those luppies did oh but he's starting to put pressure not just on the hydrant but on Sinji himself like there's there's very little wiggle room for uh, for Sinji to put something mm -hmm. out and all these hydrants are getting like they're down and then they're gone yes like, not I even messing with them and now I'm glad they got put back put in the center stage and they, uh, there you go, gets the up B. One of the things I'd like to see out of Justin is know when to stop the flow chart because I liked what he was doing before where he had the down tilt, he had the fair, he had the F tilts, right? Kept Sinji in the corner and then almost like flow chart this through the side B at the end. If you just keep putting up those short hop aerials, you make Sinji have to respect you. Once you get rid of that sword, there's nothing in your hands, so he can run right at you. But he's doing a good job here. This game is looking significantly better compared to the last one. And this is pretty much Jonathan's game to lose right now. Yeah, he's got all the time in the world to work with. He's got a Sinji on, not only on his back foot, but like they, it's almost on no foot to stand on at all. Like this, the damage is racking up super quick. And That's exactly everything just kind of is working for Jonathan and the foresight as well for icing on the cake. That's and the best he's... way to put it, and that's exactly how you want it. You want Sinji basically standing on one foot at all times, because when <laughs> Sinji is standing two, fir two feet firmly on the ground just like that, you died a bell F smash. So, and now, don't, good, no, run, go the other way, go the other way, go the other way. What did I say? Why did you interact? You're lucky you got foresight. <laughs> Yeah, you thankfully foresight or and bats within or, or bats within save you. Otherwise, yeah. that's a moment to throw blazing in at the at the corner. You see Galaga throw blazing in at it. Don't 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 interact with Pac-Man with Galaga on the ledge, people. I I will. I I've been saying this for like seven years now. Come on, <laughs> even in Smash Four, don't do it. And Pac still has got those combos that you have to respect, and you have to respect him right here. He's gonna win. I, I, I don't want to say it, but like, okay, never mind. Bell's gone. The way that Sinji was walking around with that confidence, I, like he just looked, he looks so scary right now. You can see, you can see the atmosphere has changed. Jocelyn is now playing scared. He's not confident in approaching and he's going to keep trying to play around these platforms to hopefully find like a run up down air. Sinji is going to hold shield to punish it. They, they, see, there it is. They didn't go for the run up, didn't go for the run up, but do, did the jump up and Sinji dropped the ball. And all of a sudden he has a chance again. So oh, losing my lead, and the switch was a little bit too early, but yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can't that's do anything about works. that. It, it it will hit even while you're floating through a transition. There's a point in time <coughs> in oh, any yeah, match yeah, where even us as casters can see it, but if we can see it, you know damn well since you can see it. Like the the entire tempo changed. It got oh, yeah. to the point where Jonathan was kind of making it obvious he kept trying to wave land on the platforms and kind of go to the uh, platforms because what are you going to do you're obviously going to run off the platform and go for a downer that's that's what your ko option is right now but if you kind of stuck to a similar situation like you were before where you're like waiting to play the grounded game and win off things like these up bees which you did pretty solidly here again like that was a good way to check sinji running off platforms and making obvious not so much when there's a bell in hand yeah, his neutral towards the end kind of reverted back to game uh, three or game two, where he was just getting blown up for a lot of the uh, for a lot of his reckless approaches. Like he would run off plat, double jump back, mm -hmm. like, you know, jump off plat, double jump, land with down air. Like it was telegraphed, it was obvious, yep. and it's something that Sinji could eat alive. Yeah, and like I, I actually just 
I kind of was having to see in my head, but I just to take a look at chat. I agree. Um, blazing in that side B at those windows. Play from a distance that you can't get punished. Throw him at Sinji. He's got a bell in his hand. Make him either drop it or make him run. That way you can force Sinji to a corner. You can slowly pressure him. That way you can try and find a KO option. And if you get hit by the bell by the ledge, you might not die because he's got to send you the other way while he's got his back to the corner. But with, with what happened before, when you get uh, when you get very bloodthirsty against someone like Sinji, who's a king on defense, it gets really hard to deal with them. But just run up, just swing at him, just swing at him, baby. That dash attack is going to deal with that stock. Honestly, it, it's a, there's a fine line between ignorance and uh, arrogance. And the, when Josh has been rides that line, it makes it look a lot more like confidence because he just he jumps over Hydrant and he swings. He jumps right at Sinji. He'll like he'll air dodge, uh, neutral air dodge into the ground, and he'll swing. He'll mm -hmm. never let him stand on the ground. He'll never See, let him think about uh, think about setups. Yeah, if we break down that last play that just happened, right? Like, yeah, you, you want Mithra because you want the speed, right? But Sinji is hiding behind the wall. So what do you do? You switch to Pyro there. You have the you have the bigger range. You have the ability to space better with big with bigger damage output when you get your small hits. And you got side B, so it's a it's a check. It makes it so Sinji has to actually respect you. But because he stayed on Mithra this entire time, he is pretty much looking at what is probably going to be a dead stocky. Oh, good early jump to get away from that, but you're dead. Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, all right, never mind. Sinji, to the never mind. You Sinji are dead. found it. I, I I thought that Sinji was going to punish that landing on the up B. Now please switch to Pyro. Do no, stop no, no. going at him. Stop. The water, the water saved him. I, yeah, I, the, the water was kind of of its own vibe check. Like, just, look, just trust me. Just trust me, bro. Run, just you don't want this. You don't want this. He's, you don't say, want this he's smoke, saying bro. no. He does. He does not want to hear from you. He, we're gonna take him home. Just go the other way. <laughs> Like it's okay, bro. Like you don't have to take every inch that Sinji gives you because mm -hmm. only the space between from platform to platform a lot of the times matters the most. I am especially so with Sinji chilling at ledge with with a with a Galaga in his hand. Yeah, I'm seriously surprised at how long with Pyra that uh, Fire Hydra took to go away. But even so, just oh oh wow, I just that was just literally out of the window where that would have been a true confirm. So now. Yep, here we go again. Uh, however, don't keep going for this downer. You already set it up two times in a row. Yes, there you go. For, go for side B. Sinji's staying grounded. You want to find a throw. You want to force Sinji off stage because Sinji's camping in shield now. And now that Sinji's fighting you in center stage more, there you go. You can start swinging. Granted, he's about to die for it, but I like that entire... I like that center stage play a bit more out of Josh's, uh, Josh's than there. <laughs> I've seen that a thousand times. I still get scared by it. Also, that's a privilege down there if you can beat out <laughs> Foresight. Yeah, it's snake downer, but it kills. It's, hey, look, they're, we, they're cut we, from the same cloth. So yeah, I, I was about to say like, look, Snake ain't getting away with this either because Snake's got a frame <laughs> three downer out of shield that does some stupid damage and can set up tech chases. So. <laughs> wow, that was the first time we see we saw a Flame Nova. Even if it was, it looked like it was on accident. But hey, mm -hmm. like, think the neutral B, uh, Flame Nova, Lightning Buster, uh, for the Aegis duo. Like those are. Mm -hmm relatively quick moves that you can throw out cover some space maybe even stall a little bit like they're not inherently poor options and they might even catch Sinji off guard since yeah. that was it was one you did one of them across three mostly four games now i actually wouldn't even mind to see that if uh if Jostathan is able to get like a, a pretty solid leap granted it's starting to slowly disappear and gets hit on the switch uh because if you nearly fully charge that or fully charge while sinji's camping shield you can break shields with that and it's oh yeah pretty low end lag too so it's a solid idea you don't want to do it too often because it'll make your landings pretty obvious but uh that would be not necessarily the worst idea. I would switch to Pyra at these points because I know you want the speed, but you don't have the you don't you don't have the KO power to be dealing with Sinji. Sinji's gonna box with you because he's willing to take a trade for your five percent compared to his KO. There you go. Yeah, one like at this point, any raw back air or any just raw key, I guess he ran forward and threw at him. Sinji had been covering Switch so well in the latter half of that set. Like game three and four, he never got off a switch mm -hmm. in disadvantage that didn't just get hard punished. Whether it be with the orange in game three or this key, uh, or not not this key, but the uh, the hydrant cutting coverage uh, earlier it, in that stop. Like, it was what's so what's so scary about that spot right here too, is that even if you air dodge here right and you somehow avoid the key, once you you get out of end lag like around here or so, give or take. Sinji can immediately react to downer. 
Like, it, yep. he has the ability to cover so much. So you kind of, you're in one of those spots where it's like, do I recover? Do I try to get reckless or recover high? Maybe throw him off? Uh, but it's so, it's so hard to do in the moment. But just the fact that this right here covers the air dodge and forces you to go to about here, you're going to get covered by that downer anyway. So anybody who just says, just the air dodge, you're still covered in this range uh, right here to get hit by downer, especially with somebody who has a purely vertical recovery. So it's, uh, it's, it sucks <laughs> being yeah. in that spot. On top of the added risk, like, yeah, this key is here, right? Prior to, um, prior in the game, he had, his answer was, hey, I'm going to not deal with the ledge trapping here, and I'm going to switch to, uh, switch to Mithra and try and recover high, go to platform, which is a mm -hmm. decent option, but he'd done it before. Yeah. And, and you can't show Sinji, you can't show any player at this level like at top eight level across tournaments, like the same recovery route twice. That's true. Yeah, he's, he did. He did that a solid few times. So that that is a pretty easy way to to get caught because recovered high a few times at that spot. Did the early up bees there. Did the early side bees there. So you get stuck in the mindset of I have to air dodge here. But Sinji's yeah. looking right at you like I'm gonna react to the air dodge or I'm gonna cover it. Option coverage is so important when you're playing a character who's. They got a small body like that who has to fight a massive disjoint because they got the range but they don't necessarily always have the best disadvantage state so good job by Sinji. um yeah. i thought that matchup would kind of be a bit difficult uh man i think that at the highest level it actually can be a bit difficult for pac-man i think that as the meta evolves that character could be a solid pick against them but the way Sinji played it was exactly how i need to play it and i don't uh, i don't disagree at all with the way they approach it because i'm not trying to i'm not trying to react like that